I'm not a politician, I'm telling you what does it. Labour Party will win. When I told them 2015, 31st first night, that Buhari will be missing for three months. Nami, Nami go hide Buhari. No, sir. When I told you COVID-19, Nami bring him. No, sir. Didn't I tell them years ago that there is no election? Yes, sir. Now I can tell you, this is, is it not Atuko? I told people, PDP? Yes, sir. I told you it will be Wazobia. Now, it is Tunibu in the APC that will come. Tunibu plus Atiku equals to Obi. Now, uh, 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 Labour Party, right? I'm not a politician, I'm telling you what God said. Labour Party will win. Now, Wazo will now fight and wait. And that is where now problem through the West. Through the West. The West will say, we no agree. Labour win. And I see the, the PDP and I see the APC fighting and I see what bring out which I told people that they will not bring Mazin and the Kano. I said what to bring him is the last of the politics. That is when they will say, I come out for politicians. Look up here. I see you, sir. Everything about this thing, I've seen it. I left prophecy for the sake of People listen to read about it because in far north it's not like east and west with social media flow. What they listen is what the man say. What they say is what they take to talk. I am not here for politics. I am here to prophesy and to speak increase in your life. Yes, sir. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. yes, sir. And I say, I see the man in the in the seat continuing, and I hear a hey, yeah. My friend, go and check all my records since. Five six years ago, yes, I don't just prophesy when people are prophesying. I prophesy when God showed me, and put politics politics by the side. What is God telling me now? God said, "I should tell you." Yes, sir. This month, yes, sir, is your month of success. Amen. Write this. I saw. I told people they will come out to Nibu now. You will come out. Then he and the other one, what's his name? He and uh, Atiku. They go do with le uh, labor. Labor go win. They go cancel them. They go, they go start another. You go see him. And that is that word I tell them and say, election, cancel. No, I'm, that is what will bring the war of the Westerners. I told you that what will bring Biafara is through Westerners. Hear those prophets. You will see it, honestly. Honestly. This is to certify that Asiwaju, Bola, Ahmed, Tinibu, having scored the highest number of votes cast, is hereby declared winner. And, and in, line, in line with the provisions of, our, of the constitution of our great party and guidelines for the nomination of candidates and by the power conferred on me as the returning officer of this special presidential primary convention I, Senator Abubakar Atikubagudu do hereby declare Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu as the presidential candidate of our party in the post-coming 2023 presidential election. Hello beloved, welcome back to our channel. I brought you an interesting video from Prophet Ritaba. And the man of God has a lot to say in this video. And there are some few things I just want to chit chat with you about. I know a lot of people will come for me at the comment section that, oh, this is an old prophecy. This prophecy was given 1st June 2022. But there are some few things I want to talk about in this video with you guys. And also don't hesitate to let me know your opinion after watching what, after hearing what the man of God has to say after watching this video, because there are a lot of things the man of god say in a short period and honestly majority of it are actually 
displaying right now in Nigeria currently. And that is not really, really, really my problem. But my problem right now is that where did we get it wrong as Christians and where did our prophet get it wrong? And yes, I know that. See, one thing is God god can propose a thing but a man can dispose but i just want to see that i see that our political leaders are so corrupt in a way that they can actually override the word of god or did god just allow them to to act upon their foolishness or what is a question i'm asking so please if you have the answer don't hesitate to just narrate it for me at the comment section below because when i come across this video i watched it over and over again to say this is the prophecy the man of god gave before the presidential election 2023 in nigeria and everything he says he says that labor party was going to win the election then um APC is going to say that, oh, they don't agree. Why will Labour Party win? And then between them and uh, um, PDP, there will be fights. But <laughs> it was the opposite that happened last year. If you all follow the whole thing in court and all that, when Peter Obi charged Labour Party and all that, then INEC, I know a lot of Nigerians were like, oh, instead of him to go for the main thing, he's not going for it, he's beating around the bush and all that. Uh, instead of him to sue um, INEC instead of Lab uh, APC and all that, because Oh, oh, why would he see? A, uh, why would he sue APC? As you all know, Tinubu was the flag bearer of APC um, when it comes to um, presidential election 2023, and which he won, and he was declared the president of Nigeria by INEC. And as you all know, see. The buzz buzz. We are not over it yet because a lot of Nigerians are feeling that the situation we are going through right now is the cause of the INEC chairman. Because how will he come and declare Bola Amer Tenebu as the president of Nigeria when the chat and everything or evidence show clearly that he is not the winner for the presidential election 2023 but the case was charged to court which all of us were aware we were hoping we were rooting that may 29 2023 Bola, um, Bola, president Bola Ahmed Tinibu will not be sworn in as the president of nigeria but it was one of the most peaceful swearing in of all time so i just want to like out of my curiosity a lot of people say that oh they took it to court they rigged the election um, they rigged it in court and all that see one thing i want you to know is that see godfathers still have hands in the affairs of nigeria the past president and all these notorious politicians in nigeria whatever they say is it stand they they can do the undo that is one thing i want us to understand like i asked a question in the beginning of this video but i'm still telling you in this same video that it's not like the word of god did not come to pass or it drops on a rock or on deaf ears but one thing i want to assure you is that the will of god for nigeria will definitely be carried out no matter what just remember the children of israel in the bible when god promised them uh kena he took them out of egypt but what happened they spent not days, not weeks, not hours, not months, but 40 years in the wilderness. And it was not everybody that actually got to the promised land. So I just want to take um, this 2023 presidential, uh, presidential election as um, that story relating Nigeria to the children of Israelites in those days. Because what God has promised us, God has said a whole lot of things. And it's it's not coming to pass that does not mean that god has not ordained it in the uh, spiritual reign that does not mean that god did not give this man of god this prophecy how things was going to go accurate in nigeria but at the end of the day see just have it in mind that god can propose man can also dispose it's left for the will it's left for man to carry out the will of god and all that and some people don't even have the fear of god what they have is the fear of money and they can do 
do anything just to be there. That is one thing. I just want you to get clear and have a clear understanding on it because it is not easy when it comes to Nigerian politicians because forefathers are there. Notorious politicians are there. So just tell me. If it's not what they want, it will not stand. And one thing you need to know, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tenebo said it even during his campaign that this was his turn because he has seen a lot of politicians become presidents and governors and all that. This is his turn to become the president of Nigeria because that was what was promised to him when he was helping this politician. So I just want to tell you that Nigeria was sold years back. It wasn't 2023, it wasn't 2022, it wasn't 2021 when the campaign started and all that, when all parties brought out their flag bearer. As you all know, um, Osibanjo lost to Bola Ahmed Chenibu and all that. First of all, people were rooting that, oh, it doesn't matter if Osibanjo becomes the president of Nigeria. A lot of prophecies says that, but if he lost, God is going to raise um uh, Moses and all that and which was um Peter Obi that he was going to win the 2023 presidential election but the opposite happened and we all know what actually happened but it's Nigeria you cannot just open your mouth and say things except it's allegedly so let's put it that way and just call it call a spade a spade there's nothing we can do let's wait for the next uh three years to carry out another election to see who is going to sit on that seat is it going to be peter obi or because of all the shenanigans that is happening in nigeria right now whether peter obi has given up on the whole becoming a president because nigeria it's not the way uh, t- uh it's not the way buari left it to, to be honest with you things has gone way bad than it used to be so what is going to be the outcome so that is the video i decided to bring away and please before i go if you have not subscribed to our channel can you pause this video subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber oh my goodness i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always being part of this lovely family we love you and god loves you more so guys i'm gonna see you in the next Next one, and don't forget to leave a comment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, go,